Hi, here's what you need to know about the post-prostatectomy urinary catheter care. After prostatectomy, one of the most major changes to your daily life in the short term is living with the indwelling urinary catheter at home. You will be discharged with the catheter which is usually removed in 7 to 10 days. It may seem scary and unfamiliar but don't worry, in this video, we will teach you everything you need to know to help you be confident with caring for it. Why is the catheter needed? This is because after the prostate is removed, your bladder is joined to the urethra with stitches. This joint, or anastomosis, needs approximately 7 to 10 days to fully heal. The catheter drains and decompresses the bladder so that the new anastomosis is given time to heal. Stress on the anastomosis should be avoided as it might cause urine leak from the joint and even breakdown. Hence, proper care of the urinary catheter is essential. Let us first look at the structure of a urinary catheter system. The urinary catheter is a long tube that is inserted into the bladder through the urethra. There is an opening at the tip of the catheter to let urine flow into, and a balloon below the opening to secure the catheter inside the bladder, and urine only flows down the catheter. In the day, the catheter can be connected to a tube that drains into a late bag that can be hidden below the trousers. At night, we recommend to connect the catheter to a regular urinary bag. This is a larger bag that will allow you to sleep through the night without needing to wake up to empty the bag. As mentioned earlier, the catheter will be kept 7 to 10 days while the anastomosis heals. Depending on surgeon instructions, a scan called maturating cystoerythrogram is done to ensure there is no urine leak. During the scan, contrast is injected into the bladder through the catheter and an X-ray is taken. The catheter will only be removed when your surgeon is sure that the anastomosis has fully healed and there is no urine leak. A small number of patients with delayed healing of the anastomosis might need to keep the catheter in place for a longer duration to allow full healing. The removal process is a quick and relatively pain-free procedure. Right after the catheter is removed, most patients will have some degree of urine leakage for a few weeks to months. Hence, it is important to resume pelvic floor exercises. Here are some important pointers. Firstly, always place the late back or urinary back below the level of the bladder. If not, Urine will not drain out from the bladder and put stress on the anastomosis. Drink lots of water to keep your urine light colored. Clean your urethra opening and the section of the urine tube near the opening when you shower. While most people tolerate the catheter well, it is normal to experience some bladder pain or cramps with the catheter. You may experience a small amount of urine leakage around the catheter at the urethra opening. This is because your bladder is not used to the catheter and contracts involuntarily. If this occurs, Wearing a pull-up diaper over the catheter can help prevent any leakage from soiling your clothing. This should improve over time. It is also normal to notice some pink or red tinged urine after a walk or bowel movement. Do not be alarmed, simply drink more water and lie down for some time until the urine becomes clear again. While the catheter is in place, stop pelvic floor exercises. You should resume the pelvic floor exercises once the catheter has been removed. However, here are the important red flag symptoms that need immediate medical attention. Firstly, if the catheter accidentally falls out, come to the Eurocenter during office hours or emergency department after office hours immediately. If you notice the catheter stops draining for some time, urine starts to leak around the urethral opening and you have increasing urge to urinate, this might mean that the catheter is blocked. Other serious problems include fever and dark red blood in the urine. We hope you have gained a better understanding of the process. Please feel free to contact us if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you very much.